Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. Today's episode is another digging for gold episode where I am pouring through these uh, boxes at a furious rate that I acquired in the Cross Country Collection. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the playlist, Cross Country Collection, start at video number one, and enjoy. It is going to be a video mega series with probably pushing 100 episodes total, if I had to guess. I've already recorded 19, so, uh, well, this is episode number 19. Uh, today, we are digging through, I am digging through, 1997 Bowman's Best and 1996 SPX and then at the end um, and again I'm filming this introduction after I just went through the cards and then at the end uh, because I wanted to find some more heat I added 1993 tops there was two sets of 1993 tops uh, in order that uh, that we pulled so we knew we were getting at least four Jordans out of that as well so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy I'm looking for cards that are PSA grade worthy uh, follow along with me let me know what you think anything worth sending to PSA check it out If you watch the Cajun Cardboard channel, I want you to consider using the PWCC Marketplace. It's a great place to buy sports cards and you can even support the channel through my affiliate link which is conveniently located in the YouTube description to this very video you're about to watch. Pause the video, get into the YouTube description, look in the top right of the channel and you're going to see a link to PWCC. Save that link in your browser and now you are able to buy sports cards on the PWCC marketplace just like I do and at the same time support the Cajun Cardboard channel. All right, here we go again. Got some more 96. Uh, this is going to be really short video, I think, because I've got uh, 1996 Upper Deck SPX 1 through 50. Oh my God. These are so cool. Every single one. Look at this. Every single one in a penny sleeve. I know Jordan is number eight, but this is pretty damn cool. Uh, those SPX cards are so cool. Um, so we'll try to flip film without dinging any of these things up. I don't know if there's anybody in here other than Jordan that's going to be worth grade 96. I mean, I guess is Kobe in here. I don't know. Team alphabetical order, as always, Hawks Celtics. So Stacey Ogman. Uh, Mookie Blaylock looks ripped up a little bit. Eric Montrose, I'm begging, praying that Jordan's in good condition. Larry Johnson, you just don't see these other guys very often. You see the Jordan all the time, so I know what the Jordan looks like, but I don't ever see these other guys. You never see the George Zedek. Uh, Jason Caffey, and there's the MJ. Okay, so we'll have to take that MJ out. Obviously, I'm going to move it over here to my little inspection table, and we'll get a much closer... What is this? Oh, is there more than... Why is there more than one in this MJ? Oh no, it's behind it. Okay, I thought it was all jammed in there. Okay, so we got the MJ right here. So the MJ goes up there, it looks pretty good. Let's look at the back, Let's see what the back looks like. Cause that's usually where, it, God, it looks freaking immaculate. It looks fantastic. The SPX look good. Now, I haven't looked up values, but um, obviously PSA 10 is what you're shooting for, pie in the sky. PSA 9 will still be good value. Bob Sura, Jason Kidd, Jamal Mashburn, McDice, Jalen Rose, Grant Hill. Theo Ratliff, Joe Smith, Latrell Sprewell, Dream, Reggie Miller. Well, there's no slouches in this uh, in this one, unless you count George Zedek from the Charlotte Hornets as a slouch. The Duncan Dutchman, Brent Berry, Lamont Murray scored the hell out of it. Magic, you don't see that every day. I wonder if that's, I'm gonna look at that just to see, just cause I don't, you know, there's some of these that you just don't see in PSA 10. And if you get a Magic Super Collector out there, that, you know, you hit a PSA 10, you never know, might be a couple hundred bucks. Good Lord, that looks just like Kobe in the post. Can you, why does it say Lakers, Vin Baker? What is this? Oh, it's Vin Baker. I thought it said Lakers, Vin Baker. And I'm, I'm thinking, okay, yeah. So Vin Baker on the bus, can't even read it. Uh, Glenn Robinson. So no, K, no Ray Allen rookie. Okay, so Kevin Garnett, Ed O'Bannon, Patrick Ewing, Penny. You never know. Let's put it in this little separate stack. The Shack is obviously always going to be worth a look, maybe grade worthy. The Barkley, just like the Magic, another very collectible player. Maybe you can pull a 10. Maybe it's worth grading. I don't know. Mitch Richmond, Dave Robinson. Again, I can't say it enough. For some reason, every time I see a Kemp or a Peyton card, it just looks freaking fantastic. I almost want to just start 
a dual PC collecting those guys' parallels and just post pictures of Kemp and Peyton together. They were so fun to watch, so exciting, so much swag and juice. Uh, they were awesome. That's a good-looking card. Too bad it's big country. Uh, Rashid Wallace. And then uh, McDice, Grant Hill, and Joe Smith. Maybe I already did that somehow. What did I do? Okay. Well, these are not, these do not stack easily. Let's put it that way. Okay, I'm gonna put these, uh, I'm gonna put these back up real quick. I'm trying not to bend these bad boys. Okay, move those to the side. All right, next box. Uh, 97 Bowman's best, one through 80. We've got Jordan. Kobe on here, We've got a little foam to keep them tight. Okay, so I see a little, there's some penny sleeves in here. Let's get these out and let's pull this. Okay, let's pull this, see what's in here. Iverson, I guess that's an Iverson second year card. Still, we'll put it in the relevant stack. Steph Marbury, Marcus Canby, these cards are great looking. Ray Allen, second year. Antoine Walker, Lorenzen Wright, Kerry Kittles. 97 would be Tim Duncan's rookie year. So I guess we're, you know, I don't know if Tim Duncan has a card in this product. Sorry, I just don't know much about Tim Duncan. I would assume he would. Vitaly Potopenko, Jerome Williams, Junkyard Dog, Eric Dampier. My buddy um, TJ Honore played with Eric Dampier on that Mississippi State Final Four team with, uh, um, oh, God, what were the rest of those guys' names? I'm trying to think to myself. Derek Fisher here. Who the hell is Donald Whiteside? Is that Hassan Whiteside's illegitimate son? Illegitimate dad? <laughs> Donald Whiteside? What in the hell? Not drafted, free agent 1996. Is this some kind of a joke? 5'11", 170? Who the hell is Donald Whiteside? Somebody tell me who Donald Whiteside is. John Wallace, he's from that year that the Knicks drafted uh, three small forwards. Um, drafted three players in the same position. Brian Evans out of Indiana, Jermaine O'Neal. Uh, Roy Rogers, Priest Lauderdale, big flop. Martin Muraset, big flop. And then Big Z. Big Z. Okay. Not to, don't want to damage any of these things. Pulling them out of here. Let's just put the whole stack out. Okay, I got the whole stack now. All right. Cool. All right, I'm going a little bit out of order here, so just deal with it. Here we go. We got the Pippin. All right. Some of these are sticking a little bit. We got Glenn Rice. I don't know if it's have causing any issues on the back. Lynn Rice, Bryant Stiff, Dino Raja, the one and only. Really good international player, actually. Horace Grant on the Magic after he bolted. We got Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, Mookie Blaylock, Cliff Robinson, and then Grant Hill. Uh, Vin Baker again. Vin Baker, the Laker. Terrell Brandon. Damn, these are kind of stuck together. Brian Shaw, Brent Berry, sorry, not PJ Brown, Kendall Gill, Brent Berry. Nice action photo right there. There you go. The Dream. Alan Houston, Eldon Campbell out of Clemson. The Trail Sprewell out of uh, the not so great state of Alabama. Just kidding. Jerry Stackhouse, Robert Ory, Mitch Richmond. Gary Payton, there's GP, Duncan Dutchman with a nice high fade. See that high fade right there? Flat top, looks good, man. Looks like Detlef Shrimp got to him. Uh, Rick Smith, Jim Jackson, great arms, great NBA body, just big, strong, physical guard. Damon Stoudemire, Mighty Mouse, Bobby Phils. Played basketball with Bobby Phils' brother, Dwayne, here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Chris Weber, Sean Bradley, Arvita Sabonis, John Stockton, Jonathan Stockton, Penny Hardaway. It's weird that I put a Penny Hardaway into a little kind of a separate stack as John Stockton, and John Stockton was a significantly, you know, more accomplished player. Tom Gugliotta, Avery Johnson, Cedric Sabalos, should be Sabios, Ewing, uh, Joe Smith, number one overall pick, the Rodman. Okay. So far, it looks like we're just looking for the Jordan and the Kobe, it looks like. Let's see. We got the Zoe, there's the KG. It's like a third year KG, I guess, right? Is that right? Hmm. 
Third year KG, McDice, Detlef Shrimp, Reggie, Barkley, Derek Coleman, Kenny Anderson, Otis Thorpe, Rod Strickland, Eric Williams. Come on. I'm trying not to damage these things. Ronnie Cycley on the Magic. Danny Manning. Paul Malone. Shaq Ghost Card. Going to get it. Go get it, Shaq. BJ Armstrong on the Warriors. Greg Anthony. Cole's dad. Larry Johnson. Loy Vaught. Sean Elliott. Dikembe Mutombo. Clarence Weatherspoon, Jamal Mashburn, Bryant Reeves, a lot of Divots, Sean Kemp, the Rain Man, Lafonso Ellis, Tyrone Hill, David Robinson. Oh, I see somebody. I see somebody looking at us right here. I see somebody. The great Shaquille O'Neal, Doug Christie, 3 and D, the original 3 and D. Jason Williams, The Murderer, Michael Finley, Tim Hardaway, Clyde Drexler, Joe Dumars, Glenn, a Big Dog, Robinson, The Boiler Breaker, Dana Barrows, Boston College, Jason, The Jet Kid, and there's the MJ. I like it. Uh, is that on the penny sleeve? Let's see. Y'all see this down here? Let's see if that's on the penny sleeve or on the card. <laughs> Okay, so there's a little moisture in here, okay? So there's a little humidity. You can see it's not it's not coming out smooth. So what I'll do with a card like this, and yeah, I can't tell. I think that's actually on the card. Yeah, it's actually on the card. So we'll wipe it down with a microfiber. No, it looks like that's a scuff. So I don't know if that's gonna render it ungradable or not. We'll put it to the side. But what I will do with a card like that, sometimes they'll come out of these penny sleeves a little bit moist, and it's just from humidity. It might be from just since they got down here to Louisiana. I can't stress enough to you guys how miserable the climate is down here and cards will sweat and they'll swell and it's just a big pain in the ass and sometimes they stick to the i've had to cut many many of these cards out of the penny sleeves using scissors and then peel the penny sleeves off so there's gonna be some there's gonna be some concern about grades on a lot of these cards it's not i know they look good at, at first glance but there's gonna be some oh yes oh hell yes these are awesome god these look good these are so cool looking Avery Johnson, Sean Elliott, Joe Dumars, Grant Hill. These are so cool looking. I'll put these over here. Look at these. Look at these two guys. This is why I want to collect these guys. Can you imagine putting these two guys together? That would be a really cool PC, man. Patrick Ewing, Stackhouse, Spree, Dino Raja, David Wesley, Joe Smith, Damon Stoudemire, Marcus Camby, Jawan Howard. Did I miss a Kobe? Did I see a Kobe? I don't think I saw a, did I miss a Kobe? That's weird. Huh, that's everything. Yeah, that's everything, that's strange. Well, that's too short, let me get another box. Hang on just a second. We'll do one more bonus box in this episode. How's that? So we're, what is this? Digging for gold number five. So uh, this could extend it a little bit, but these are paper cards, so these should turn quick. So let me do my best to get this started. It says 93, 94 tops, one through 198. And then it says two sets. Okay, okay, let's see. Please don't be sticking together. These are high gloss. They might be sticking. No, they're not. Oh, okay, so they're just straight up Damn near doubled up. Okay, so we're gonna go real quick through these. Okay, let's just flip fast. I'm not even gonna call names out. I'm looking through these the same way I'd be looking through these if I didn't, there's a spree well rookie. If I didn't have the camera on, this is how I would flip through them and then I would throw them to the side. I don't know what that paper signifies, but there's a little piece of paper divider in there. So put those here. Sorry, I'm gonna, I promise you I'm more organized than this. I just don't want to take up camera time putting cards back in boxes. There's a cool looking shack second year. Just put it over here. That goes in a little hundred count. Ooh, 
got the Jordan on the end. The Jordan on the end. Oh, terribly off center. Terribly off center. We'll put it over there. But there's no way I'm grading that thing. Not, not a, just a regular old 93 paper Jordan is definitely not going to be worth grading. Barkley, in fact, I don't think anything, and these are starting to stick, so I might not even flip through all these. I'm just going to be real quick on this, guys. I think if it was a Jordan in here, 93 was not a great rookie year. I mean, it's Penny Hardaway. Um, nice little shack, but I mean, 93 is just ugly. I, I just, I don't even think the cards are good looking. I mean, let me know what you think in the comments. I just don't think these are good looking. There's, there's a little shack, a little rookie team, Spree. Gary Payton, Woolridge. Yeah, I mean, we're going to flip quick through here. I'm not going to waste y'all's time with all this nonsense. With all these Clarence Weatherspoons, these Anthony Peeler rookies, these Harold Miners. Nah, we're going to flip through all that. Let's see. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, this is a. Uh, so I don't want to. I don't want to kill the video with a bunch of. Uh, stay. Okay, cool. Just in case there's another Jordan in here. Nah. I think he would put the Jordan. I guess he would put, yeah, he'd put the Jordan on the sleeve, I would think. Yeah. I'm gonna flip 98. These are... hmm. Oh, here's one back here with some penny sleeves. Okay, so here's a penny sleeve. There you go. There's a 50 point club Jordan. And that one does look okay. Okay, so that one does look relatively centered. We'll put it over there with the others. Uh, no, just a bunch of loose. Looking for penny sleeves, y'all. No penny sleeves. Got some other. Hmm. None of these are really, I don't think there's anything else. Y'all let me know in the comments if I'm missing anything from 93 that's worth anything other than the Jordans. I don't think there's anything in here that's worth a damn. Uh, I'll call this out. It said two sets, but I don't see. Okay, here's another penny sleeve. Yep, it is another Jordan. Mm. See that? 50-point club? Okay, we'll throw that one to the side. We can pretty much move through the rest of these. So there should be one more Jordan right there. Just sitting right there staring at me. Oof, this one's way off top to bottom. Can't miss it. Yep. Corners and edges are great on these cards, y'all. I'm just telling you. But uh, Jordan's number 64 and number 101. He has it marked on the top of the box. That's it. That's it. We're going to kill it there. I don't want to waste a bunch of y'all's time on the rest of these. Uh, they're they're kind of bricked up, too. So... These are the kind of cards that, you know, I'll keep them. I'll throw them in a box. You know, maybe these are the kind of cards. Maybe you, uh, I repack them and sell them for $100. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you take these cards and maybe bring them to, like, a children's hospital, see if St. Jude wants them or something like that in Memphis. Um, I, I don't need them. I, I don't find any value in these cards. Problem is, giving cards to kids is they're not going to know who any of these dudes are except for the ones that I pulled out and kept. Uh, so, uh, again, I don't think they're looking for Lloyd Vaught, you know, third year cards and stuff like that uh, but that's it i like these do y'all like these i just think these retro cards are damn good looking those are awesome looking from 97 bowman's best too bad there's no no bangers in there i swear i feel like i missed a kobe uh what, what? it says kobe is number r23 he must have pulled the kobe because I, I did not see the kobe in here so uh so no kobe no kobe that would have been nice that would have been a second year Kobe, of course, but still would have been nice. Okay, so that's it. Some 97 Bowman's Best, some 93 Tops over here, and then these really cool uh, 19, uh, 1996 Upper Deck SPX uh, with, the, with the Jordan in there as well. So that's it. We've got a little bit of Jordans here to work with. Not anything super crazy. This is the Jordan probably that I'm the most excited about, right? I like these the most. I've already sent, uh, I think, three of these off, so this will be the fourth. Uh, so we'll look through them. We'll see if they're grade worthy and then uh, kind of go from there. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Digging for Gold in the Cross Country Collection. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. Peace.